Well, hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And thanks for joining me today. Well, we're at the site of a brand new crop circle out here on Hack Pen Hill at the end of July. It looks uh, kind of seen out here. It looks really interesting. We're gonna go in and investigate and see, uh, see what's going on. So, follow me. Hey, well, we're in the center of the fourth Hackman Hill formation. You can see what this beautiful kind of basket weave we're going to back into here. Uh, really incredible. The folks I was just talking to told me that the farmer is about to harvest this tomorrow, so we're lucky to see this. I don't think he really wanted people here, and that's why he's going to harvest it. But I think you can see this is really a lovely formation. Now, I just had something really interesting. Now the iPhone has this burst photo mode if you hold the button down, but I touched the button and maybe I did press it, but it took 491 burst photos of this formation and I wasn't holding the button. It's only supposed to do that when you're holding the button. So this is kind of the example of camera malfunction failure that we see. It happened right at the edge of the circle when I was talking to uh, Claire and Alex uh, who were here uh, before I got in and um, it's just very interesting you know I've never seen this type of camera failure anywhere but in these formations which convinces me that there's a very interesting kind of uh, electromagnetic or superconducting effect a lot like uh, what we've been reading about the way topological insulators or an insulated material that has a metal edge uh, where the, the electron structure allows the edge of the well, of the of this of the material uh, to act like a superconductor, and that's what topological insulators do. Uh, and it seems to me that these crop circles have what's called a topological uh, topological crystal insulators, which means that they have an, a conducting protected effect there there's a symmetry protection from the crystalline patterns and uh, the crystalline shape of a topological crystal insulator uh, gives it symmetry protection and that allows the edge any edge in that material to act like a metal no matter how you cut it you're going to have a metal on the edge which is kind of interesting it's a quantum property of certain types of um, metal semi-metal uh, alloys and uh, to me it seems like these crop formations have some of those properties because you walk in the edge you get some very interesting uh, electromagnetic energies effects that seem to cause cameras and other devices to go haywire I just saw it a few minutes ago uh, it's the first time I've seen it happen this summer but really interesting but anyway this is a beautiful formation here take a look and uh, you wouldn't think that normally that something like wheat would have in, uh, conductive properties, the insulator, but you know when it has these symmetrical patterns like that, almost looks like a circuit. It's got this anisotropy, everything's kind of pointing in certain directions, looks like a liquid crystal. From the air it has, a, uh, this it looks like a, a woven basket, but you could also kind of look at it as a natural sort of circuit. And circuits conduct energy, and uh, someday maybe we'll find out exactly what the frequency is of that energy but you know there it goes so i've seen this and i'm quite excited to see it happen again this summer so now if you're wondering you know what is topological about topological insulator conductors you know the topology is the study of these kind of geometrically uh, invariant properties and uh, so you can imagine you know a circle is pretty much a circle under a wide variety of conditions and you could bend it and you could squish it it's still kind of circular you know, to, to, some, to some degree and that's true about topological materials is something like this has certain mathematical characteristics you know the, the size the shape the re kind of repeating patterns in it the kind of fractalness of it and that 
gives it certain invariant properties which I believe allow it to mathematically act you know like something that's conducting even though there's no physical material here they're kind of mathematical conductors if you think about it. You can look it up on uh, online if you want to know more about topological insulators with me. It's the closest uh, I can uh, to me it's the symmetry of these formations and the fact that they kind of break the symmetry of the field and then create their own symmetry that creates these anomalous and strange electronic properties. And this formation online Crop Circle Connector. I'll put the link uh, on my blog so you can take a look more of this circle. Okay, thanks a lot for uh, watching. We'll talk to you soon. Take care for now. Bye.